Hello, good afternoon. So tonight I've come to Bung Butrapa. This is a, a new lake. John and Dan from the Overrated Angler, they did a, an introductory video here where they came down and had a look before it opened. It opened yesterday on Monday, today's Tuesday. I wasn't really planning on coming down tonight, but the, um, the electric's gonna be cut off to the whole of my road all night. So rather than sit there with no air con and not go to sleep properly, I thought I'd come down here, get something to eat and just see what the place got to offer, you know, throw a, throw some bait out there and see what happens. So let's have a walk around and see what this place is uh, like. When you first walk into Bung Budapa, it's really impressive. Somebody's obviously spent a lot of money setting this place up. There's a big restaurant floating at the one end of the lake with buildings on both sides. It's all been done out with like a white marble effect tile. If you're interested in seeing this uh, lake in the daylight, I'll put a link in the video description to the overrated anglers uh, video. They did a walk around at this lake before it opened and you can see some, some more of the detail in their video. The reception for the fishing is on the right hand side as you walk uh, from the car park. Here's the map of the lake. The top end here is where we walked in from the car park and the restaurant is. The rooms run down both sides of the lake and the common bank is right at the far end. It's quite a good walk to get to the common bank. On the counter, they've also got the information about the different sizes of rooms and prices for the rooms if you, if you want to rent one of the rooms. And then they've got the information about the fishing, 300 baht per rod, you can rent gear here, you can rent a net, and uh, the information about renting the gear and the deposit is also there. It's all in Thai. I'm not sure how much information I can write in a video description for a YouTube video. I'll do my best to put the information about the rod ticket and the, um, the equipment rental in the video description and if there's enough room I'll try and put some information about the, the rooms as well because it's all in Thai. This is like a five star hot hotel and I just spoke to them and they said the price for the tourist and the price for like if you have a driving license is the same so if you're, uh, if you're going to Patea rather than go to Bung San around 4,000 baht, here 300 baht. Look at this place. There's the floating restaurant at the one end of the lake. Really is impressive what somebody's done here. I'll put a link in the video description as well to that Facebook page so you can go and have a look at the, the information that's there. The bread or the ram, uh, three kilos for 60 baht. They've got a little shop here that you can go and grab some snacks from, some, some drinks. It's a little low on stock at the moment, but I'm sure they'll figure that out and, and stock that up. I did notice that there was also a tackle shop, but that was closed when I when I got there. It's quite a walk round to the common pier. Thank God they've got some trolleys. Uh, it's like walking from the entrance of Bung San Ran around to Bungalow 29 just to get to the common pier. But it's all flat, it's easy to use the trolley. The only problem is just as you go down into the common pier, there's a ramp. That's gonna be interesting when it gets wet and a little bit slippery. So that's the first cast out and the first problem I found is because everything's so new <laughs> there's no gap in the wood big enough for a peg or my bite alarm. I guess with time that'll change. This place has been set out amazing. I'm not sure about the fishing here yet but the lake and the weight set out is beautiful. I don't know if you're going to be able to see the details at night really need to come back and do this during the day but like I say I wasn't really planning on coming down tonight I think I've got a fish on first fish at Bung Bortner Par one bucket of bread in I haven't had many bites I've only had the float locked around a couple of times No bungs and ran, but maybe maybe it takes some time for the lake to sort of settle in. I bet they've never been fed at night. They're probably not in the mood for, for eating. I think it's bigger than a tilapia. A 
baby me grow. That's why it feels weird, it's so small. Power for a little fish. <laughs> Gotta be careful with these. It's very sharp. This one's a mutant. It's missing its dorsal fin. Normally it's got a fin there. A little Mekong. Okay, so just ordered my first bit of food. I ordered fried chicken. Took an a took an hour to come. I think they forgot to uh bring the food out and it's kind of cold at this point but they it is a new lake and they're figuring out how to do things what did you order oh patka pao tale okay that actually smells all right when you open that oh well let's give it a go so at the fishing peg you get a power outlet a fan benches and tables all the way along here they haven't supplied any in hooking mats i've brought my own this step to get down to the lake to net the fish that's a big step you know if you was um a little bit older and a little bit difficult you know uh, restrictive movement you wouldn't be able to get down there it needs another step to help you down but anyway Another little Mekong and I've been I've been watching the guys down there they've had a couple of Mekong all about the same size I haven't seen anything bigger I have a feeling this lake yeah it might have some some bigger fish in it if you look on their Facebook page if you look on their Facebook page they did put some some fairly decent Mekong in here but uh, I have a feeling that the vast majority of the fish small little Mekong like this but they'll get bigger it's a nice lake and as you'd expect they're in good condition this step's too big Okay, if I buy a little Mekong, go and get big, it'll be a 200 pounder one day that will. So it's almost uh, 1 o'clock in the morning, I've put two buckets of bait out there now, tried it up on the float, 1 metre deep, 2 metres deep, 3 metres deep, I'm now trying it on the bottom, just off the side. Um, fish, I've had two Mekong landed, I had another fish on, that threw the hawk I guess it was another Mekong. I've been watching the guys down there, oh Jesus! So where was I before? I was rudely interrupted. I think that's just a tilapia uh, knocking the feeder around. So I've been watching the guys down there. They've had a few Mekong out, nothing big, probably around you know three to five kilos, same as what you saw me have out of here. Um, I know there's some big Mekong in here. I saw them on the Facebook video being stocked about three years ago and the staff at the lake told me they stocked it three years ago. But uh, I have a feeling that most of what they stocked was small fish, uh, small Mekong and uh, they're, they're, they're growing but they're still not big um, the average is nowhere near the average of places like Bung San Moran but give it time and um, they're only going to get bigger as, as time goes on the place is set out really nice it's definitely worth more investigation and I'll be I'll be back soon 
So I fished for about seven hours in total. The only fish I've seen coming out was small Mekong and tilapia. Since fishing at the lake, I've been watching their Facebook page, watching some other YouTube videos, and I've only seen people catching small Mekong. I don't think I'll be rushing back at this point. For me, I've got to drive an hour past Bung San Ran to get to this place. It's just not worth the time and the fuel. But it'd be interesting to see how this lake develops in the future. Somebody's put a lot of time and money into setting this lake up. I just hope that they can do the same with the fish. I'm sure the overrated angler guys will come down here and do a video soon. Be interesting to see what they can take out. Thanks for watching. See you soon.